Hi guys, back again. This is my ghetto unboxing table, which is not really a table, but rather a very cheap couch that I got from um, Walmart. So that's how I roll. I roll cheap. Anyway, I'm going to unbox this first because it's going to be a quick one. I got this because guess what? I'm going to be buying Mario Kart. So um, luckily enough, my buddy has a um, Nintendo Switch and um, he uh, let me test it out and the controllers are very small <laughs> like my hands are gigantic and I felt like it was like this over time you get used to it but uh, I don't know I just with big ass hands like mine I, I don't like it with my kids hands it'll be perfect so um, I got this it's because my kids will feel better because it's like a steering wheel and my, my both my son and daughter like um, that type of feel so that's for them um, and then I'll be buying another attachment, kind of like this, but to make this joystick look bigger. I'm just waiting for a deal because I don't want to pay a regular price. So anyway, so let's open this up. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, I think on Prime Day it was $10, regular price is $12. Still not a bad deal, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm... Am I going to look for my... Yeah, let me get my um, trusty knife. I'll be right back. Hi, right, guys. Oh, and uh, sorry about the loud noise in the background. That is the AC unit, but hopefully it doesn't interfere too much. If it does, I'll do a voiceover on it. Um, so yeah. So my handy dandy knife. Bam, love this knife. Especially the color. Got it from Amazon actually. So uh, yeah. All right, let's open this up. Don't think I need the box anymore, but whatever. Let's open this bad boy up. Comes with two steering. Oh my God, those steering wheels are small. These things are fucking tiny! Holy crap. This is the steering. <laughs> oh, hello. That's cool. So it has two little uh, clickers or whatever you call them. Buttons on the back. So that's nice. I like that. Um, it's, it's still better than the regular controller because it has a nice curve to it. It makes, it makes it feel like a bigger controller. So I like that. I do like that it's got the little clickies right here. So that's pretty awesome. Let's open the other one up too. Now they had different color schemes. I went with black and black because it just looks better with the color of that. If it was the same color to match with these, I think it would be a little weird in my personal taste, you know. So I like that better. So there you go guys. This was that. It's pretty solid built to be honest. Not, it is plastic, but it's not like a crappy plastic, you know. For 10 bucks, I thought it would be complete shit, so not that bad. Okay, and I got the one that's flat on the bottom, so I can usually rest it um, when I'm done playing with it versus whatever else. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about the steering wheel for the Switch and how it works, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, let me show you again. Here it is. This is, of course, you already know by the unboxing what it looks like. But it's really pretty... Um, you know, it's, it's weird. It's, it's really tiny, first of all. I mean, this is my hand, and this is what it is. I mean, my hand is probably bigger than that. But, um, regardless, you hold it, it's pretty comfortable. Um, the controller is so small. <laughs> I mean, this thing is really small. So, when I play Mario Kart uh, 8 Deluxe, uh, I actually prefer using the steering wheel versus just using the controller and using it. It's not very comfortable. Uh, yeah, you can get used to it, but it's not very comfortable. So uh, let me show you um, how it works and if I recommend it. But um, I I definitely do recommend it, especially for the price. It's like between 10 to $14. It's dirt cheap. And it comes with two, which is really nice. Okay. So here's how the wheel is. And this is how it is on the um, on the hand, you know. As you can see, it's it's really actually comfortable. Um, kind of uh, fits really well versus um, this, just the controller itself. It's um, it's okay um, using this. As you can see, it's, it doesn't look comfortable. I have to really cramp, you know, do this to play, and then um, the shoulders and everything has to, you have to tense up to play it. Of course, when you're playing, you don't really think about all that, but Let's see how it works. So you just basically, there's grooves in here, tells you how to put it put it into here, into place without damaging the product. It's just a simple, just slide in, call it a day. And that's it. And then these triggers right here, 
will um, trigger the buttons on the top so it works out really well and then now if you notice I'm not bunched up like this I'm actually playing it properly and it works really well now you can uh, enable tilt control and then you don't have to use the steering wheel you can just um, tilt the wheel like this and that it works really well I, I recommend that um, for the kiddos my, my, my kids dig that because they don't have to worry about the steering wheel they just um, turn their hand and my son likes to turn his hand when he's turning so it works out really well for me I prefer the the wheel itself I mean I'm sorry the the joystick to turn so by default uh, Mario Kart has the joystick enabled but you can always press the option button and, and go ahead and enable steering wheel control and then take it out you just lift it and it comes out and then here's the button as you can see uh, and again to, to put it back in you just put in the grooves and that's it. It's that simple again from ten to ten dollars to fourteen Really worth it. I think especially if you play as racing games um, Definitely definitely a good buy Okay guys. Well, thanks for watching um, go ahead and uh, like subscribe comment um, And then I will put up another video I'm not sure what yet, but um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye